What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's had a great weekend so far. Don't forget, you lose an hour tonight. You lose an hour, but at least we'll have longer daylight. You know, I hate, you know, five o'clock, it's dark. I love it when it's seven, eight, nine o'clock at night when it's still light and the weather's getting warm. Spring is literally just a couple weeks away and I can't wait. In fact, I can't wait for the draft next month. So it is the, the off season, the NFL winter, but at least the NFL season, uh, the at least the NFL New Year is almost here. And so shout out to da da dunt da da dunt damn Gina who's been sharing stuff with us. You know, there's um quite a few people that have been talking about Derrick Henry. Now I'm gonna be the first one to say that um I don't believe Jack. I, I honestly don't believe Jack as far as the Cowboys doing anything. I really and truly do not believe anything is going to happen with the Cowboys, at least not until you actually show me that something's going to happen. Um, I just don't believe it. I, I really and truly don't. You know, I just sit here and look and say, if you're really going deep into free agency, you need to be having some cash. And when you're a broke ass and you're going shopping, it doesn't work. We got $1.8 million, and the Cowboys don't seem to be in any kind of hurry to do anything whatsoever. That's not to say that come Monday that they do, but let's, you know, slow down. Now, um, I, let's just slow down. It would be great if they were, and we hear that now uh, the Chargers are looking to uh, move Nick Bosa and Khalil Mack. Um, and I'm not suggesting that we go for Khalil Mack or Joey Bosa. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Nick Bosa, because Nick Bosa has gotten to be he slowed down a little bit and he stays injured and he's going to cost a lot of money. So that's definitely not going to happen. But one of the things that keep going on and um, keep being talked about and Jeff Kavanaugh talked about it quite a bit yesterday. He seems to think that there's a little smoke right there. Um, I think it would be really cool. If it did happen, now here's where you're getting the talking heads that, of course, love to talk about the Cowboys. Look, I, I think they need a hammer. They need a Derrick Henry type to go along with a guy who on third down can catch balls out of the backfield. And I don't think they need to go ahead and extend themselves to get a Saquon Barkley. I, look, I love Saquon as much as anyone. I, I was someone who supported Dave Gettleman drafting him. But at Let this it. point, that is not what puts Dallas over the hump. It's just not. They can go a more economical approach and get the same kind of production. They need an attitude back. That's what they need on offense. And at Derrick Henry, he brings an attitude and makes you change yours or check yours, which is, do I really want this? Do I yeah. really want to deal with this in the fourth quarter? Because you know what? Eli. Isn't that how teams play <laughs> Dallas? I Don't get teams it. play Dallas with an but attitude? I do, but I, I, can they I, get, can they I play them that way. Look, I, I think they need a hammer. There you go. They need a hammer. And I can't disagree with that whatsoever. Teams basically do that to us. Maybe it would be good for us to be able to do that to somebody else. Now, one person who knows uh, Derrick Henry pretty well, um, left tackle, former left tackle of the Titans, Tyler Luan, was talking about how the Ravens and the Cowboys both fit Derrick Henry. Let's listen in. I want to talk about specifically the king, Derrick Henry. Mm -hmm. Where do we think Derrick Henry is going to go? Because I ha I know there's a lot of places saying Baltimore. So let's take Baltimore out of it. There's two places in my mind that King Henry needs to go to. Do you guys want me to go? And then you guys give me an answer. Or you want, or do you want to go first? I only have one in mind that I think is probably the same as yours, and it's Dallas. Dallas is one of them. Yeah, I think. I was going to say Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo. Buffalo is a good one too. But I think they have Cook, right? Yeah. Is he a free agent? Nah, then you keep, then then maybe Derek's out on that. That would be a great thing for him to have. The thing that Derek is not his favorite thing to do is zone read. Like he doesn't like turning his shoulders away from the line of scrimmage. He likes to get downhill. He likes the outside zone, the duos, the doses, the inside zone type stuff. So mm -hmm. 
any kind of RPO is kind of tough. And I feel like Buffalo utilizing Josh Allen has more of a difficult time just doing some downhill run game type stuff. Under center, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, Dallas is one of them for me. First off, guy lives in Dallas in the offseason. He having to start, even if you're an Eagles fan, even if you're a Redskins fan or Commanders fan or a Giants fan, wearing the star in your head is one of the coolest things you can do as a football player. That brand that Jerry Jones has created is one of the most incredible things ever. But Tony Pollard, I don't know if he had a great year or whatever, but getting Dak Prescott opportunities to just hand the ball off once in a while and not put so much pressure on him automatically puts that team into the discussion they're always in in week eight and week nine of the season. Week eight, nine of the season, we got Dak as an MVP. We got Cowboys winning the Super Bowl, this, that, and the other. They have a great football team. I don't think McCarthy's a guy there. They should have put Mike Vrabel there, but that's a conversation for a different time. If you bring Derrick Henry to the Dallas Cowboys, you have legit contenders there. That's what you have on the Dallas Cowboys. And all it takes is the piece of Derrick Henry. You have an outstanding offensive line. Tyron Smith is a free agent, but he's getting older anyway. He's been on the same contract for like 15 years, it seems like. He's still got a lot of fight left in him. I believe he'll go somewhere and play, but like we all get, look at my knee, look at me, dude. You get old and you get out of it eventually. You're going to find a little younger there, but Zach Martin, still kicking, still crushing it. Very strong, mm-hmm. great gel, great continuity on that offensive line. They got weapons on the outside and a quarterback that, regardless of you know some people's beliefs, can sling the ball like no one's business. So you put Derrick Henry on there, dude. You got to have him on there. If he goes there, I'm telling you, the Cowboys are making a big run at the playoffs in the NFC. Wow. Okay. Now that's a left tackle telling you how to use Derrick Henry. Um, I, I can't disagree with that. I still would love to be able to have a one-two punch of a running game of uh, Tony Pollard as well as Derrick Henry. Um, and I think when you look back at the Cowboys' history, when we've had great quarterback play, great wide receivers, great offensive line, and we also had, you know, we're, we're talking about Hall of Fame running backs with Tony Dorsett as well as um, – with uh, Emmett Smith, the all-time leading rusher. And we can't think that we can just pick up somebody late in the draft and just throw anybody in there. We do need a change of pace back with Tony Pollard, and we need to be able to have a bruising back that can set some attitude. And as an offensive lineman, I'm going to tell you, when you're an offensive lineman, you would rather run block than you would pass block. Because it's two totally different things. What you have to understand about the being an offensive lineman, when you're run blocking, it's being aggressive. It's being the aggressor. It's putting your hand, put you know, your knuckles are getting white because your fingers got all that weight on it. You are firing off on off the ball and just trying to knock the snot out of somebody. As opposed to pass blocking, when you pass block, it's more of a defensive move. You are standing upright. You're getting your hands on there. You're backpedaling. It's two totally different things. And when you're an offensive lineman, there's nothing better than second half when you can just plow through over guys and you just keep running the ball. And you get there and say, you're not stopping that big fella, and I'm coming through here to clean your clock. And that is game-winning football. We've seen it happen to us over and over and over again, and we can't seem to stop it. We know they're going to run it right up the middle, but you can't stop it. And that's what we need to get back to, that attitude, that smash-mouth football, that, you know, in-your-face, we're-coming-to-get-you type of thing. And Derrick Henry could definitely bring that to the ball field. All right, good people. Um that's all I got for you right now. Like I said, you're seeing all kinds of name veterans out there that are being cut, let loose as teams struggle to get underneath the salary cap and things. And it'll be the reshuffle of players and talent. Uh, whereas we're, we're the Cowboys and we don't get involved in any of that. So there's that. Hope you're having a good Saturday night and I will see you soon. <laughs>